Arrhythmias can lead to more serious medical events, including stroke. iRhythm has created a unique platform, Zio, which combines wearable biosensing technology with cloud-based data analytics and AI. iRhythm believes the technology can help clinicians with quicker and more efficient diagnosis of arrhythmias, potentially saving lives. Mr. Atkins, lovely to see you again. And to you. David Atkins is 78 years old. He ended up in hospital after suffering blackouts and shortness of breath. He was put on a heart monitor for 24 hours, but nothing was found and he was referred to a cardiologist. He then attended Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, where he was given a small heart monitor that he wore for 14 days. The top half of my heart was beating a different rate to the bottom half of my heart. And this was picked up and uh, the machine showed various times during the 14 days, even when I was asleep, that my heart rate was far too high and the low heart rate was basically it just stopped for a period of time and then started again. The fast irregular heart rate that was sustained for more than 24 hours actually increased his risk of stroke, so we've been able to thin his blood to try and reduce that risk in the future, as well as put a pacemaker in him to stop him blacking out from the slow heart rates. According to the NHS, heart rhythm problems are experienced by more than 2 million people in the UK. Most people can live normal lives if they're properly diagnosed, and new technology is helping to make that happen. For around 30 years, Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital relied on the ECG halter device, which monitors for only 24 to 48 hours, and therefore only really works on patients with persistent symptoms. But after testing various long-term cardiac monitoring tools, the trust settled on the Zeo device made by the company iRhythm, which continuously monitors uninterrupted for 14 days. This is a 14-day wearable patch, and what we now do is post this out to the patient. The patient takes the device out. There's a really nice set of instructions which even consultant cardiologists can follow. They put the patch on, they wear it for 14 days. Now, it does actually stick for 14 days. After 14 days, they peel it off, put it back into an addressed envelope and post it back. It is then analysed by the company and we then get a report back. So that gives us 14 days worth of diagnostic capability no patient journey in and out of the hospital, no physiologist spending hours looking at ECG traces. We obviously didn't have to be in hospital for it. So here you could carry on um, relatively exactly a normal lifestyle. The Zeo device is recommended by NICE. It won the NHS AI Award in 2020 and received investment from NHS England, allowing individual trusts to evaluate it. Dr. Rahman is a consultant stroke physician for the NHS in Kent. They tested it and now offer it to patients. The detection rate has gone up. So the pilot project showed 12% um, compared to a halter, which is less than 2%. And since 2021 till now in 2024, the average detection rate has been about 7%, which is well above the 5% set by NICE. It has meant uh, cost reduction because we are needing less amount of clinic appointments for this patient uh, to come in to and also from the event to the detection time it has become a lot shorter previously it was about three months and now it has come to about 40 days the 14 days of continuous uninterrupted data is first analyzed by iRhythm's deep learning AI algorithm and then a final report is curated by the certified cardiac technicians before being shared with the cardiologist. We found that the AI reporting, and this is what NICE was specifically looking at, was very, very accurate. And we found that it improved our efficiency at diagnostics, it improved our efficiency within the department in terms of freeing people up to do other things. And the patient feedback, which was probably the most important thing from a patient perspective, was that they found it convenient and easy to use. The higher yield of data is more likely to provide a rule-in or rule-out diagnosis, which has given David a clearer picture of his heart and more time with his 36 grandchildren. It told the uh, cardiologist very clear what was wrong with my heart, whereas the 24-hour one, Apparently didn't. <laughs>